I originally used Plasti Dip around my reflectors for a different look, but today I'm going to change it up with this new 3D printed reflector fin from Bird Technologies. They also offer a reflector delete version on their website, which I'll have linked in the video description below. Installation just requires a screwdriver. There's also a supplied set of longer screws that I'll need to use instead. I removed the single screw behind the reflector and pushed it out. If you've watched my LED reflector install video, then you know I recommend installing a waterproof connector to make removal easy. Unfortunately, the wiring hole on the left isn't big enough for my connector, but that's an easy fix and you won't have to worry about it with the new version 2 model as of this video. Keep watching to the end to see the revision changes. If you have the original version like me, you can just snip the plastic between the two holes and then slide the wires over from the larger mounting hole to the smaller wire hole. I've got the fins 3M taped to the reflector, and now it's time to test fit it and install the new screw. I managed to squeeze my head underneath the bumper so you can see the screw. Alright, the fitment looks good. Now to peel and pressure wash off the Plasti Dip and do the install for real. That took longer than expected. Now, me being me, I did some design tweaks after being given access to the model. I made it a little thinner without compromising the fin strength, and I also enlarged the hole for the wiring harness. I'm not using any 3M tape when I reinstall it so that I can shift the fins around to sit flush once I install the screw. I sent my adjustments to Bird Technologies and they've applied them to the new version 2 model which also joins the mounting and wire holes together. That looks really nice and clean. Again, I'll put a link to the website in the video description below. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now, and as always, thank you for watching.